Welcome back to Limbus Company Daily Mirror Dungeon. We're starting out with a 10 bull on the Lord Prodigious Banner because we got a free 1300 of Lunacy thanks to the bug fixes, and I still haven't quite gotten everything, so let's see if I... Okay, that's a good start. Okay, that's a lot of two stars. Let's look, what is the main thing, though? Oh, duplicate your sword announcer. That's funny. Well, I still haven't gotten the Ishmael Ego. Uh, cool, though. That's that's a bunch more thread, thanks to getting the duplicate announcer. Yeah. I'll, I'll get there in time. I'll get to the Ishmael Ego in time. I still haven't gotten all the rewards from this. Um, But yeah. We're doing Mirror Dungeon 4 hard this time. On stream, I did Mirror Dungeon 4 normal, and now we're going to do hard. See how that goes, right? We're running Burn Team again because, you know, you gotta try the potty fail up more. You can also see they did actually buff Philip in the patch. He no longer loses Sandy from his skill 1 or his defensive skill. Don't know how necessary that is, but I guess that's a nice change. Especially since you can't really win clashes with his skill 1. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, I don't know just how hard this is gonna be. Uh. We're starting with Fiery Down, because of course we're starting with Fiery Down. What is this button? Oh, it just shows us everything. Uh, let's see, what do we want? There's only one Burn Gift as an option here, Multi Paraffin. We can refresh once. I haven't tried refreshing yet. I'll probably want to save it though, right? Um, chances are this is, as far as the actual fights go, uh, we don't have too much pierce, but we could get the molded paraffin. Par paraffin. I don't know what a paraffin is, but shh. we'll go with that. Yep, Fog of War is per normal. I haven't done Mirror Dungeon, but we're hard yet, so I don't know what the differences are going to be exactly. Oh, you. Um. So, anytime I. Any of these special fight options I can do that I've already done before, I'll probably pass on. And I should probably do it anyways. The more you give, the better, right? Oh, God. Connection is being a little silly. Oh, uh, yeah. Run to this team. We don't have any sanity, so this fight might be rough. It's a little hard. We'll have to see just how Mirrodon 4 hard works. I assume it's going to be, like, 3 hard in the fact that the first few floors are going to be fairly easy. And then it's just going to scale harder. We'll see how it goes here, right? That'll be what really determines it. Hmm. A lot of neutrals. That's unfortunate. Well, you can get a favorite off. That's at least something. Who's got better odds than it says? I feel like you might be able to do this. Yeah, we'll roll with that. Oh, great. There's a, well, there's a lot of neutrals. We were also fighting this guy at Zero Sandy, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of neutrals, and I think we just got to accept that. That's unfortunate. I would have liked to get some Sandy on Sinclair immediately. Would have helped out a lot. Instead, he gets almost staggered. Eh. Okay, at least Ryoshi won a clash, so we're getting some sanity. We also stagger the arm immediately. And it looks like we're winning the other clash against the body, or we're losing the other clash against the body. Yeah, that's unfortunate. You at least resist blunt, so it's not too bad. That's fine. Might have some better things to do this turn. That's a favored, cool, neutral, struggling, 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 neutral, cool. We'll roll with that then, I guess. Once again, I'm not going to really have a chance to build up Sandy on uh, Sinclair. I'd really like to do that, but, uh... We're just not, we just don't have an opportunity yet, right? <laughs> nice. And that was the neutral, so it's a good thing we won that. Cool. Next turn's funny turn, we gotta get our talismans onto you. Uh, who's got the most? You guys, I guess. You've also got a fair bit, but you also can't win the clash here, so that's fine. Oh, we could just kill you, couldn't we? Yeah. We'll do that then. 
only 240 HP is not a lot. Even at low sanity, we should be able to do a lot of damage just to you, just directly to your arm. Some heads would definitely be nice for our damage output, and there's going to be some speed tying going on if Ryoshi doesn't get the kill, right? So his attacks might get to go first anyways, but... Ishmael get to go first? Nice. Now you go, okay. Some damage on... Eef. Yeah, not the nicest thing. Yeah, not the nicest thing. Uh, you do die here, though. I'm gonna die to burn, if nothing else. Not a great start, that's for sure. But, I mean, that's always how it's gonna be if you choose a fight immediately against so the no one will cry, right? That's alright. Because we get an old one doll, which doesn't help us here, but I want it so we get more uh, things. I think I'm just gonna not bother fighting you, though. Fighting you with low Sandy on the first floor sounds like an awful idea. Nice. Sticky Muck. That's the important Dio gift. The other one, the Tremor one, doesn't help us too much, so I'm fine not having it. And we press onwards. Okay. We don't necessarily have the most pierce on this team, but we do have a decent random bit of pierce. Like, your skill 2, uh, of course, your skill 3, your skill 3, I think. Yeah. Is your other skill 3 is I think your other skill 3 is pierce as well, right? No, it's slash, because it's blazing strike, yeah. Well, that's fine. You can get some sanity up here, that'll be good. I've only gotten a couple starlight rewards so far, so... Some things are going to feel a little rough, that's for sure. Okay, Ishmael almost lost that against the sloshing person. Luckily, she pulled through. Okay, we can... There's no reason the one-sided stigmatize. Stigmatize is only really good in clashes. Because you win the clash, you just gain a bunch more sanity. If it's one-sided, we should probably just save it. That's the logical move, so I'm going to stick with the logical move, huh? Okay, Sinclair's been staggered. Shh. That's unfortunate. Should be doing some good damage here, at least. That one burns to death, nice. Okay. You're 30 at Sandy, so if you just win, like, a single clash in the next fight, you'll manifest Ego, so that's pretty good, right? We don't really need you to manifest Ego the first fight. I don't think so, at least. It would be funny. I'm not sure how well of a time we're going to have here. We've been taking a lot of damage already. We really need to get, like, home or something for healing sooner rather than later, I think. Because, uh... It's probably going to be fairly rough. If I had to take a wild guess, right? Oh, he just manifested Ego. Oh, that's not great. Shh. Yeah, because now he's back to 5 SP. That's always the issue. You manifest Ego at a bad time, like right before the fight ends, and if you don't have time to build up sanity while you're in Ego state, then you just kind of stuck at low sanity. Till the next fight. It's a very interesting idea, that's for sure. I haven't gotten to use him to the best of my abilities yet. I'm sure it'll change with time, of course, but so far, he's not been doing the best. And also, Sinclair is one of the worst persons I've ever identity like this, because Branch of Knowledge is so awful. Because Branch of Knowledge so frequently will just, you know, cause him to lose even more sanity. And if he had, like, any other Zayn Ego, I'm sure he'll get another Zayn at some point. Like, we, we rolled heads, which is the worst case scenario for us, because now we got lose sanity. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, a lot of neutrals here. These guys on floor one is kind of awful. Yeah. Yeah, Gregor's at 20 HP. <laughs> okay, cool. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Uh, we'll stigmatize because we might be able to get the kill there, I guess. 9-2 is not great odds. 
Pending day, I guess that's the best chance we have. Cool. Order Blossom Star, yeah. We're just having to ego a bunch here because this is like one of the worst floor ones enemies you could get, I think, yeah. Well, it's fine. So like a note to self. Um, do not take the Pierce Week floor one because you're gonna get awful options. I should have seen that coming. I'm kind of surprised I didn't see it coming because it really should have been super obvious, but uh, oh well. Now I have to claim the fruits of my labors. Uh. Tails is fine. Would've been nice to get heads to do a lot of damage here, but that's okay. It's still decent, right? Okay, two tails. Cool. I was really hoping you'd kill to at least get some sanity, but... You know, that's fine. Yeah, fourth match flame as well. Hits three people. Hits a staggered guy, so it'll do a lot of damage to that guy especially. That's fine. Yeah, it's gonna be a long mirror dungeon. That's how it's gonna be without the starlight buffs and stuff, right? He's killed one of them, so that's nice. Sure, roll with that. Okay, cool. And Sinclair is just kind of going to stand around and watching. No, he's going to get a hit. Cool. He's going to kill this guy with the Fierce Charging. And he's got Max Sanity, so he should manifest Ego next fight. Which will probably be the boss, because I assume we're going to get an event here. So yeah, that'll be a good start. If we can get Faith, I heard it makes Philip super busted, as you'd assume. Oh, uh, no events, really. I guess we got two events there. I forgot about that part. Because since we fought someone in one of those, I kind of forgot it was two events. That's the thing, huh? That's all right. Oh, these guys, huh? Wasn't expecting that. That's a, that's that's a surprise. I guess it's a it's a welcome enough one. Cool to see the them, right? Sinclair was getting ratioed by that one a little bit, but he won the clash in the end, so he gets his sandy up and needs a two target, so it's nice. He gets some sand, that's the important part. Yeah, he's at 36 now, so that's good. Cool. Should be pretty easy. Yeah, these guys aren't too bad. They kind of spam evades a lot. Luckily, they've been going for a decent bit of actual attacks here, so it's not been too big of an issue. But yeah, they should go down here. And we also get a really funny skill 2 off here. It is a three target, but it's only going for the one person, so it's not, you know, that funny, I suppose, but that's fine. You'll be at, what, 30 sanity, I think, because you lose 10 sanity here. Yeah. Oh, you healed 10 sanity, though, because of the Yi Song passive. That's good. Base Yi Song is insanely good for Philip as well, for Philip Sinclair, because it makes you heal 10 sanity every time you lose sanity each turn, right? If I explain that well, good. If not, whoops. All sinners heal up. Yeah, that's kind of needed. Upgrade Fiery down to plus plus. Yeah, we'll do that. Nothing really worth fusing. Is this the moth? This might be the moth. Uh, it might be. No, it's King Trash Cup. Oh, that makes more sense, right? I oh, already go already. Cool. Dominating. Yeah, go for a dominating. Yeah. You should go for dominating if this is you've got any. Not really, okay. You'll do that. We'll try seeing how much safe clashing we can do. You do that. You're kind of low, so you should probably be restrained to only doing safe things, right? We just got brutal pummeling left, which we can fire a knife hand. This looks good. Dominating everything. Yeah, nice. Everyone's low, so we do still need to be a bit wary, but... That's fine. Okay. Ooh. A little scary, but that's fine. Otis pulls through. Staggers the shell. That's nice. So you won't be spamming mass text nearly as much next turn. Good stuff. We're winning a lot of clashes. Also very nice. 
All that's left is Sinclair. Who wins the clash, gets some sanity, and does a lot of damage to the head as well as the target he was going for. 23 sanity now, so you can Blazing Strike to get a bunch of sanity. Yeah, we'll do that. Everyone else should probably just go all in on the... The head or the shell? It would be better, I think. Shell's already staggered. Yeah, we can just go all in there. That'll work. You've only got 350 HP left. You're not going to survive too easily. <laughs> yeah, Blazing Strike. Rolling funnily high. Nice 40 roll. 67 damage because he was in stagger. It's still pretty good. It gets his sanity up. And he lost some sanity there, but that's fine, right? Hopefully we do just kill you this turn. You got a lot of burn, if nothing else. You're going to take, like, what, 50 damage from burn or something? And we still got some strong attacks going through. Yep, there we go. Cool. And all the minions die. Victory! Cool. We can get the burn tier 1 now. Which is something. Like, it's not great, but it's fine, right? Max HP is 1, max HP plus 7.5. Eh. Fine. Let's see. Gain a some cost, 50% chance to gain a random ego gift. Or we can just gain a random two tier ego gift. Um. I'll just take the option that gives us an ego gift. Venomous skin. This is the new uh, one from Blood Ring Toad. Nothing great for us, of course, because it's Tremor. Okay. Unconfronting. Hmm. Dicting Lost Crushers and Breakers. Yeah, so this is Canto 3. People that use Blunt, people that use Lust. Hmm. I don't know, what would be a good thing for us to go for? I'm kind of considering refresh because there's some decent stuff here, but nothing great, right? Yeah, I'll use my refresh. I think you only get one per, like, thing. Also, nothing that's called out to me immediately here. Hmm. We go for Vein Pride. We get Carmilla. Carmilla is really nice to have. Uh. You know, Special Claim, their bones, miracles, it's 20. Funny things to see. I'll take Vein Pride, though. Alright, I gotta drag down. Keep on forgetting that. The fact that it's only Hurdley on the image there is really interesting. Could they not think of anyone else who uses Pride? I can definitely think of a couple, right? Tomorrow's Fortune, that's a good thing to get, yeah. Oh, we roll once. We can sell stuff if we see anything good. Ishmael skill, definitely, yeah. Sell this. We can sell this too, yeah. That'll work. Get Ishmael another skill three. Spend 200 cost, yes. We will. That'll be nice. Uh, Blunt or Slash, we've got more Blunt in general. Since we are mostly Liu associated people, we've actually got a fair bit of variety of damage types on this team when you really think about it, because so many of them actually do have like a decent bit of like varied damage types and stuff. And these guys, uh, aren't going to be very hard, that's for sure. It's just these grunts. Immediate stigmatize for the funny. Not really a fight where you need to really need to manifest ego, but it's gonna happen no matter what, so I mean might as well. Right. Okay. Okay. We had a one-sided sunset blade. I mean, I'll roll with that. You'll get some sanity from killing, probably. So it'll add up to something. Cool, yep, you just got to max sanity immediately there. And that guy exploded. So there's only one person left. You know what? Let's just have you do the, do the finisher. Although with your skill ones, because uh, your skill ones don't cost any sanity now, which makes them really nice. 
And it's really funny seeing like him with the filter in this battlefield. He looks even more waxy than he always does with like the lack of like the funny burny stuff. I'll take a risky encounter, why not? Or an elite encounter as it's called now, of course. Can't get it wrong. Can't get can't get it twisted. Okay. That's Keto. Interesting background for Keto to show up. Uh that's fine. You shouldn't be too bad. We've got a lot of blunt after all. We're also mass attacking with Sinclair here. Uh not that it's really necessary, but it'll be funny. So I'll roll with it. Right. Cool stuff. And two targets, even if it's resisted, that's still a lot of damage, right? Yeah. Nice. Gunshot with you, cool. You're gonna get countered, that's alright. I believe in you. You're going for a neutral, that's alright, I believe in you as well. This wasn't even the neutral, oh, okay. That's fine, we pulled through. You resist Pyrrhus, so... Unfortunate, but that's fine. Yeah. yeah, this was the bad clash. That that was the neutral, you can kinda tell. Oh, uh, you didn't do too much damage, so that's fine. Phyllis being a silly billy there. And Gregor won that clash, so he staggered Guido. Nice. Guido purged burn on self because he's below half, because he's a rude guy like that. Uh, I might just stick to fierce charges here, though, because I don't think we need to go in for anything funny. So uh, this way we won't spend any sanity. So we'll we'll lose some sanity at the end of the turn anyways, but also heal some sanity because of the Yisang passive, I believe. I think that should still trigger here. So that should put you... Yeah, you're at 40 sanity now, which is still pretty good, right? So you can just manifest ego immediately next fight. We get you gifts here, though. We get two options because of... We don't? Oh. Oh, that's right. You don't get... Okay. So because they changed, like, the specifics of how it works, right? Because it used to be that, um... You get ego gifts from... Okay, it's the same fight again. Fair enough, I guess. Should we save the stigmatize? Actually, no, go for the stigmatize. You're gonna get your second skill slot, which should go fairly well, right? Okay, once again, you're being th thwacked a little bit. It's not gonna do too much damage. And then we're gonna stigmatize this guy, get her sanity up. Still roll a tails, you know, of course. Here, this pierce, so it wasn't gonna do a lot of damage no matter what, right? Yeah, there's where you go. Struggling Sunset Blade. Okay, we'll win some Sandy from this, though. I'll, I'll risk it. You know, what's the worst that can happen? You yeah, look at that. We're 45 Sandy now, so now we should win the other Clash with Sinclair. Assumably. Assuming that was the issue, the Sandy was the issue. Which I assume it was. I didn't actually look at what Guido was going for. Maybe I've made an awful decision. But I believe this should work fairly well. Yeah. Look at that. And we're at 45 Sandy, so we hit three targets. You absolutely demolished these freaks. You know, we can Blazing Strike you as well, just for the fun of it. Do we need to? No, but is it funny? Yeah. We stagger you to the Fierce Charge, and then we Blazing Strike you. And we roll Tails on it, so it doesn't do too much damage anyways. That's fine. We lose some sanity, that's okay. Yeah. You're like 30 sanity now. Still, like, within reasonable, like, ego manifesting, like, a threshold, right? Event time. Oh, Steam Transport Machine. Win the bell to earn two Tremor Ego gifts. Or to carry luggage, or to carry luggage faster. That's funny. 
You know, I haven't seen your EU gift, and I don't know what your gimmick is going to be. Clockwork Spring. Okay, that's interesting. For a second, I was getting it mixed up with Melted Spring, and I was like, wait a second, that's one that already exists. But no, Clockwork Spring is something different. Let's see. Oh, you don't have a timer. In 11 at the end of the turn, spent completely when the body is broken. Okay. So you just start at zero and you gain it faster. Oh, there we go. It's, it's at one, yeah. That's interesting enough, I guess. Sunset Blade, get some sanity up. Cool. We're going to have to go for some neutrals, inflict some paralysis. That's unfortunate. We just got to hope we get some decent luck here. Don't want to ego too much. We spend a lot of egos, like... In that very, like, first fight on the first floor. Yeah, I've staggered the body, so that's nice. Doing a lot of damage to it, actually. I think, was everything else going for the blaster, though? I think everything else might have been going for the blaster. So we should destroy the body this turn. I do know you still gain funny resistances when we break the body. So we're gonna have to do as much damage as we can this turn. Oh, if we Sunset Blade, we're actually gonna lose Ego State, aren't we? Because you're going to spend a bunch of SP, and then you're going to lose more SP. I mean, I guess that's fine. It's going to happen no matter what, right? Like, we could skill one, and actually, let's just skill one. It'll be smarter, I think. Because your skill one still does a lot of damage, right? And, like, the mass attack part doesn't even matter of your skill two, so the fact that it spends a lot of SP wouldn't, like, really benefit you that much. And this way, you'll at least manifest, you keep your ego for at least one more turn. And you get to 15 sanity because of the Yisong passive, right? So it'll actually be pretty beneficial for your sanity. Yeah, okay. Because now you can actually clash here. Should go decently. And yeah, your resistances have changed, I'm sure. Being rude as you like to do. That's a favorite, actually, sure, we'll roll with that. Let's see. Yeah. All attack type affinities become ineffective, 0.5. Yep. Same old, same old. It's going to be a little bit of a slog, but we can kind of burn you pretty heavily at least, so that'll be nice. Although it's not going to be too much damage per turn unless we get, you know, some good Dark Flame stuff going. Although Dark Flame will only do half damage because it does pride damage. So that's not like a great option either, I guess. Yeah, it's a, this is a fight where we can just build up ego resources and stuff, I suppose. You're going for a bunch of stuff here. You're struggling, yeah, I guess your skill one doesn't roll too high, and your sanity's not great here. Yeah, it makes sense, I guess. Neutral. Yeah, that's a, a scary looking skill. I don't think we've got much of anything that can do much of anything against that skill. Favored. Nice. Struggling. Not so nice. You know, I believe in you. You just gotta get a heads when he gets tails, right? Like, that's doable. I believe in Sinclair. Sometimes believing in someone is all you need to do, right? Uh, I shouldn't have believed in him. Yeah, there's the stagger. There's the paralysis. I really kind of... I did see that coming. I'm not going to act like I didn't see it coming. But, like, it was funny. So, I'm, I think that was fine. You should die next turn to burn. Or, like, at the end of next turn to burn no matter what, right? I think so. We're doing not great damage, but we are doing some degree of damage. And you're only doing three attacks this turn. Let's see, what's harder to win clashes against? Yeah, do a little bit of that. Should work out. We do inflict three Dark Flame here, so, uh... I mean, you've already got two Dark Flame. You're very dead this turn, no matter what. That's, that's the, like, the moral of the story, I think.
Yeah, we don't even need the burn to do the job. Ishmael should just kill. Yeah. Cool. And there we go. What do you gift do we get? What is this clockwork spring? It's a tremor gift, so it's not actually going to be beneficial to us at all, but at least we'll know what it is, right? Clockwork spring only applies to the first two deployed entities. Skills that apply tremor gain clash power when dealing damage to enemy that has tremor. Do you then flip and when you inflict tremor, deal more damage for pride skills even more. Sure. We'll take this option. This is a long floor. God. I've just kind of realized that. Like, it's already been going on for a while. That's alright. One side of stigmatize is not worth it. Just skill one. One target magic bullet fire isn't particularly worth it either, but it's funny, so we'll roll with it. If we can get more skill threes on Sinclair, that would be really nice. But we'll have to get lucky with the shop, won't we? Especially because we don't have Starlight Rewards, everything's so pricey in shop, so, and we just don't gain nearly enough cost, so it's not the greatest. That's fine. That's alright. Because you get the stigmatized clash win here. That's good. You should have high sandy going into the next fight, hopefully. Actually, it depends, because we're not going to kill all of them this turn, are we? So you're going to manifest ego this turn and get your sandy bad. And hopefully, you can get some kills. Yeah, uh, let's just do it like this. See if we can get Philip to get some kills. Philip, kill up. Okay, cool. That's at least one kill, so he'll have 35 Sandy going into the next fight. Or 40, because he's going to lose 5, gain 10. Oh yeah, 40 Sandy going into the boss. That'll be good. Assuming we get the boss here, it might be two fights, right? I think we're due for another event, though, yeah. Yeah, cool. Oh, you. Oh, uh, this will be healing and some cost gain. So it's pretty good. Here's Wrath. Pierced, black, violent, wrath, slash, oh yeah, it's just hurriedly. Yeah, it checks out. You want to just blazing strike this guy? You know what, why not? Why shouldn't we? We're going to do a lot of damage to these two as well. I should probably do this on you, actually. We want to we take a look at what we have that actually inflicts burn count, and it's not a lot. Yeah, it's really not a lot. So anything that inflicts burn count, we should probably just do on the main boss for now. So we can get, you know, his burn a little bit manageable, right? He's got a lot of HP, actually. God! Early with 600 HP is all very annoying. These minions have a lot of HP as well. Jeez. I didn't even, like, realize it at first. I was like, yeah, it's going to be a normal enough hurtily. And then I just looked at the HP right now, and that's God. Could be a real annoying fight, that's for sure. Okay, you can... Bottom needs some burn count. Who is that? Who are you going for? Sure. It's the wrong person. That'll work. You can get a clash win, you can uh do it like that. That'll work. We need to kill the two minions as soon as possible, because that's how we get the, the V uh, event, right? Nice, that's 45 sanity, cool. Fights like this where it's going to be a little longer are going to be rough for Sinclair because the sanity lost each turn is just going to keep on building up. Okay, we got that kind of one HP. That's good. That is one down. We just got to take down the other one or we could take down the top one again, I suppose, if we so desired to. Actually, no, bottom one goes down too. That's good. So not this turn, but next turn we got to take down the big guy. Sure. 
do it like that, yeah. That'll work, do more damage with those two. Hopefully the Sinclair doesn't do far too much damage with his funny mass attack, but uh, he might, right? Knowing him. So far, it hasn't gotten to the point where it's hard yet, but we're also only on floor two. As much as it feels like we're much later than that, right? Yeah, a little bit of damage, cool. Okay, now we can investigate the factory, take down the big guy. Cool. Alright, we'll, we'll clash with you, but everyone else just goes for the big guy here, yeah. Simple as that. And you got the one that clashed, that's nice. That one gets brought to my you with a burn no matter what, so that's fine. And we broke your part. I think we just gotta break your part or stagger you or anything like that. We don't necessarily need you to get to 1 HP for it to count, right? There's like a variety of things we can do. I think breaking the parts, pride, pride, or staggering is the part that matters. Huh? Did not count? Because we- because did the burn finish you off, technically? And the game got mad about that? I guess? I don't know, that was weird. Roll with that. Okay, magical fire time. Funny. Well, we should be able to get rid of the surgery and stuff this turn, right? Logically speaking. Funny sunset blade as well. A really unnecessary sunset blade, but it's still funny, so we like it. This is... Do you love the city you live in? No. Proceed. Do you love the city you live in? No. Proceed. Do you love the city you live in? No. Continue. Alright, there we go. Now we go in kill mode. Uh, you guys are gonna kill yourselves just immediately, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, you're gonna fierce charge that. Don't need to spend sanity. Who are you going for? Yeah, alright. And everyone else just goes for the big guy. And that should be good. I do think so. Hurley also does have three Dark Flame and a lot of burns, so... If nothing else. I say that like that would be necessary at all, when it's really not going to be necessary. We get some sanity up here, that's good, up to 45 sanity. So we'll be at as much sanity as we can be after this fight, which... we're What, is this turn like 5 or something? Is he going to lose 25 sanity here and gain 10 from Yisong, so he's going to be like, what, 30? That's my guess. I don't remember for sure, I haven't really been paying attention to the turn count. But here you get staggered, that's good. And you die to burn. Cool. 446 damage, thanks to Dark Flame. Hmm. How swell. Alright, um... We got another option here, that's interesting, of course. I think I wanted Carmilla... All these are max HP, uh, attack level 2, defense level 2. Not the worst thing. I'll stick with Carmilla. Making normal fights easier will help a lot. Gain a random tier 1 to 2 EO gift. Gain some cost. I mean, I think this is probably the most beneficial one still. Risk guards, it's not. It's worthless. That's fine. Could have been something good though, right? Ooh! They didn't change that. That's interesting. I think we gotta go for the Hell's Chicken Dungeon because Hot and Juicy Drumstick is super good. Yeah, I think we can handle Pop Bongi too. No acquisition records. I like it saying how it's saying that for the actual. Yeah, it's just literally just the five from the Hell's Chicken Dungeon. That's cool. We'll take that. I'd absolutely love that. Can we also get the events too, I assume, then, right? Ex exclusively on this floor, I presume. That'll be funny if we can see one of those. 
Enhance gifts. Anything to enhance. We could upgrade this. Reborn potency infliction. It's something. We'll roll with it. Okay, it's it's a little slow still. That's fine. Heal everyone up once again. Just for safety. We'll also upgrade Carmilla because we still have some cost, right? We'll get it to plus plus, but that'll be good enough. I gotta go for the event, I think. Is it gonna be the one of the health chicken events? It's you guys. Okay. Well, that's healing. That's fine. Darn, should have taken the top path. Could have gotten another vent. I, I, it's not like I could have known them that, though, right? That's fine. That's all right. The enemies on this floor shouldn't be too bad for the most part. I guess the actual bongies themselves can be a little rough, depending on how things go, so we'll have to see. Okay, Sinclair lost his clash. Cool. No ego for you this turn. Another kind of struggle, that's fine. We can Sunset Blade that. If we defend, that'll work well enough, right? We'll block the damage. His defense no longer costs SP in Ego Mode, which is funny. It doesn't cost SP in Normal Mode anyways, right? But still, it's just a good, it's a solid enough change. I kind of like the the fact that, I think if Sinclair had any other base Ego, I'd like his defense having uh, an SP cost. But because he's got, you know, the, the homeless base Ego, uh, that costs his sanity a bunch and doesn't really give him a benefit for it. It makes it really annoying how you don't have a good option when you've got a bad clash. Sinclair will get a new Saiyan one day, I'm sure. And we'll see how that goes, right? Okay, yeah, you get the kill, nice. Sinclair almost got the kill, but that's fine. He's still doing decently on sanity, right? Okay, random tier 2 ego gift. Random tier 2 is not bad. I'll take it. Shovel of Blast. That's actually not bad for us. Getting some more resources is always nice. Risky encounter. Interesting. Or an elite encounter. I'll start calling them by the right name. One day, I suppose. I'm not too concerned, but... Okay, it's not two waves. I was partially expecting it to be two waves. Because, like, that's the bit they went with were the uh, actual risky encounters in the Hell's Chicken dungeon, but no. That's fine. You're going for a neutral. It's a fairly fine one. Yeah, this looks good enough. Like a domain. Do some just damage spread to a bunch of them. Inflicting Paralysis is going to be super nice. I think when Inflicting Paralysis is the one that Sinclair is going to be clashing against, right? Yeah, so that'll just make Sinclair have an even better time just winning his clash. Getting his standing to 45, getting the funnies going. Sinclair is going to be really good for these guys because, you know, Sunset Blade. Yeah, well, Sunset Blade here because we can at least hit two targets. Blazing Striking and enemy at 80 HP feels unnecessary. And we don't clash so we don't get any funny sanity. Nice. Okay, I mean, Clash with Stigmatized, so that'll be worthwhile. Or not Stigmatized, uh, Blazing Strike. It's Stigmatized too. That's all it is, right? It does a lot of damage. It kills this guy because he's weak to Slash. Yeah. As you'd expect. Cost some Sandy in the process, but that's fine. Still good Sandy going to the fight. Might have the boss up next? I didn't see if we've got how much more nodes we've gotten. There we go, though. That's a victory. And, uh, I guess we'll take the stake. Oops, I almost hit Refuse Gift. Would've been funny. Uh, more of this. More Star- oh, I'll take it. Anything that gives more Starlight on Pawn clearing the Mirror Dungeon, I'll take it. It's a minor benefit, but it adds up, right? Okay, I'll take Middle Path, because it's two options afterwards. You might get an event after that, right? We'll see.
Although the bottom option, I'm sure, would have been the actual Bongies themselves. Instead, we just get more Keiko or Bongi guys, as you'd expect. Okay, immediate Ego, that's funny. It's gonna do a little bit of clashing, a little bit of mass attacking, the good stuff, right? Or you can lose the clash, alright. I shouldn't have said anything, huh? That's fine. Gun. Ishmael gets one side, that's fine. Yeah, Sigma's very inconsistent, but very powerful. Like I said before, if he gets a decent Zane and Ego, um, then I think he'd have such a great time. If I had more passives that inflicted, like, then gave SP boost and stuff, like base Hong Lu, not middle, uh, Merso, since, uh, Sinclair doesn't have any friends, uh, even, like, Whistles, theoretically, I don't think we get Lost Residence too much, but I think we might have just gotten Lost Residence there, so I might just be completely wrong about that, right? We'll see, I guess. Okay. We're losing more clashes. Awesome. Shh. It happens. Okay, you got some tails. That's unfortunate. How's his sanity looking? Alright. You can Blazing Strike at least, that'll be good. Get some Sandy up, spend some Sandy in the process, but that's fine. You're guaranteed to win the Clash. And your skill one might just kill the other one, right? Not if you roll tails. <laughs> but if you hit heads, then maybe it would have. That's fine. It doesn't cost Sandy use, so that's okay. And victory. Nice. What's next? Oh, this is a long floor. God. I'll take top path, though. We'll fight just more K Corp Bongi guys, I'm sure. That's fine. We love K Corp Bongi guys. Uh, Sunset Blade. Wrath Resonance. For the funny. I saw a funny bug earlier today that is part of the update. For some reason, apparent Sinclair. Alright. Uh, for some reason, LCCB Ishmael spends ammo twice as fast, I think? Which is a very interesting bug. Really, really makes, really makes you think, huh? That's fine. It's worth it for the funny Wrath res. We did win the Clash with Sinclair this time, so that's good. Unfortunately, he did have to skill 3 to win this clash, uh, to just make sure he's good on Sandy, so we don't get the funny Blazing Strike immediately next turn, but that's alright. You guys are fairly tanky, so there should still be some left, and Sinclair should be able to get some Sanity up, right? That's the hope. Burn, though, yeah, that's, that's the one thing, right? Try that. Nice, that's a kill. This one, of course, isn't a kill. Uh, that's fine, though. Because we still do kill it. And Sinclair got a decent bit of SP there, so that's just fine. And you burn. Cool. Okay, uh, more startup on Clearing Mirror Dungeon is funny, so I'll take it again. And just another fight like this, yeah. No more events, that's unfortunate. I was really hoping to get another event, because it might have been funny, right? Oh, what's this? Oh, they just posted something. I'm currently recording this at 9am. They just posted an announcement. They apologize for causing disappointments. As you can the value for unsealed ego passive will be considered. What are they doing? They're making it so it consumes 20 SP instead of 35. So you get to, at 40 plus SP, consume 20 SP. If results are met at the same time, which are high SP, okay. 
His passive can be Wrath Owned instead of Wrath or Res. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, there's a big, like, apology type thing, like, Kim Ji-hoon just, like, kind of apologizing for, you know, like, the balance issues. I think he's a cool idea. I think the fact that he's not stupidly busted but still really fun was nice. I don't think he really needed the buffs, but I guess it's probably a good idea. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I never say no to buffs, right? Wants to be a funny idea. Okay, you're gonna lose this clash. Awesome. Watch this guy lose this clash. Psh. Yeah, we lost that clash. Cool. If the other skill went first, then we would have been able to win that clash. But that's fine. That's how it goes, right? Them's the breaks. Just you left. Okay. Oh, you're a max handy, actually. Huh. Well, if you just charge anyways, just so you know, you don't spend sanity. Cool. And you're 45 sanity now, so you'll start the Pabongi fight at max sanity, so that'll be nice. I think it's so, like, you start, you enter Ego State in 40 or higher is a nice change, though, that's for sure. I see the benefits there. Okay, Pabongi time, though. I wonder exactly what the Paw Bonnie fate's gonna be. Is he gonna have a head chicken or a hat chicken? He is. Okay, so it's the Mirror Dungeon 3 one. <laughs> one set bleed. We've got that immediately. Probably go for a neutral there, get your Sandy up a bit. Okay, Gregor, can you win this? No, you're gonna need to ego. That's fine. I was kind of expecting it anyway, so I'm not too concerned. A neutral, that's expected though. You're gonna hit this guy because we hate him. We hate this guy's guts. Something like this, yeah, cool. Looks good. We did win the Clash of Sense of Blade, so that's nice. Hit two of these guys for favorite damage. Did we hit the hat guy or the one that was dodging? The one that was dodging, alright, that's fine. The one that's dodging, you're also hitting with Lego Domain, so. Sure. Of course, the hat one's super tanky, so that's unfortunate, but that's fine. Legger Domain. It's not going to do too much damage, but it's still nice, right? Did a lot of damage to that guy because he was staggered, but still. Okay. We need to be wary of the chicken bucket. He's going to start trying to spawn more chickens because he lost one that turn. Yeah, turrets the unit of the least SP, huh? How silly. Okay, you're gonna be on killing this chicken duty. We actually kinda can't, can we? We're gonna need to ego a bit so you don't spawn more chickens. That's fine. Force for the flames. Tapathos Mathos. Uh, we'll enter a gate double strike you. But ego is need be, right? Throw that in the chicken bucket just to make sure it goes down. Honestly, had a purpose. Sure did. Although, if I want to be really funny, I, and I do want to, I pr should probably bench Gregor during Abno fights. Because then, it'll be really funny. Because then, the one, because then Sinclair will get two skill slots. Which would just make him be even funnier, right? Which would be nice. I've only been half playing today. Did we take it in the chicken bucket yet? No, but this is hitting a chicken bucket. That takes down Chicken Bucket. Nice. So now it's just your body left. So your capabilities are limited. Yeah. 
That works. Funny Wrath Resonance Gaming. They also, they mentioned the changes they're making to Sinclair are going to happen next update update, since they can't really hotfix it. Which, you know, fair enough. Probably cool to see it changes, I guess. I wish they balanced stuff more often, but I know they just physically cannot due to gotcha laws. It's funny as a th of a thing that is to say. But yeah, because, you know, they can't just buff and nerf things too willy-nilly. Otherwise, certain people will be mad. Do you burn to death? You do, cool. There we go, a nice cooked chicken. And now we get a really funny ego gift to make sure that burn count is gonna be basically free the rest of the run. Absolutely. We also get an additional ego gift. Base purple is one, defense level plus five. That's not too bad. Most of these mounting trials don't seem too bad, right? We get another ego gift for skill. It's like first skill to damage enemy inflicts damage gel divided by three bleed potency. It's not like funny you gift. I might just take perversion though, yeah. Probably. Leaf Bloomer's tattoo also has its fair share of, you know, benefits. Hmm. I'll take this actually. Gaining a bunch of cost could help out a lot. Yeah. Because we're about to get a shop, I think, right? After this. Falling flowers. Spice Bush Branch? Oh! Basic counter its full skill effects every time skill 1, 2, and 3 are all used at least once. Gain haste and base power up and stack up to 3 times. So anytime you've got someone using a skill 1, someone using a skill 2, and someone using a skill 3, everyone gains haste and base power up? It's phrased weirdly, it's hard to say. They also got char disc here. Um, These two have warnings on them, interesting. I'll take this one. I assume the final boss is going to be Dong back. I know Dong back can show up. Uh, I haven't seen her myself, but I know she's an option, so it would be funny to see her. Ishmael skill. We already changed Ishmael skill. I don't want to do her again. Ryoshu, eh. This was not worth it at all. Oh well. I was really hoping we could get, you know, like, Philip or Otis or something like that, right? That's fine. Okay, taking a second. I'm not sure if it's my connection weird or if the server is still having issues, because it reasonably could be either. That's fine. Would have really nice like to get, you know, another skill three on Philip or Sinclair. That's how it goes. Some robots, simple enough. They're gonna be rolling decently high, right? Are any of these attacks bad? Funny how it's only Wrecking Ball ones. Yeah, burn count's gonna stack super up. If we can get the burn tier 4... I haven't seen the burn tier 4 yet. I assume it's unlocked by default, though, because I think I saw... Another one of the tier 4s? Did I? I think I might have seen one of them at some point in the previous round. Oh, well. Anyways, a lot of stuff is um, locked by default, in case you haven't looked at the Starlight Tree. I think I unlocked- I got one of the things that unlocks things, and I'm saving up Starlight to unlock the rest of the stuff, because that's my primary focus, right? Because it'd be funny. If it is Dongbeck, though, that might be a rough fight. It's been a while since I fought Dongbeck, so I'd like to see it, though. Although the main gimmick there is just, um win clashes and don't die so starting with max sandy on everyone barring philip because he's funny um would be pretty nice there that's for sure get the blazing strike for some sanity nice you lose some sanity as well but like it's, it's a worthwhile trade-off you gain more sanity than you lose from that right and you know 42 roll on your block uh which is kind of insane that's for sure. It made sense how his block costs sanity because of how stupidly strong it is. His skill one causing sanity didn't really make sense to me, right? I don't know. These guys have so much burn, god. Yeah, the Hell's, Ch the Hell's Chicken gift, I thought they were going to be nerfing that. I really hope they nerfed the Rupture one, at least. Because the Rupture one was even stupider, right? Roll with that. 
He was starting to get the kill. Yeah, nice. Get your sandy up. You're at max sandy, so you're ready for whatever's coming next. Although it's a more generic fights, right? We've got a little bit of ways to go before we get to the final boss of this floor. And we're not given the chance to move up at all, so that's unfortunate. Okay, it looks like this event is unchanged. It makes sense. It's mostly Mirror Dungeon 1 events that got changed. Right. Okay, yeah, we missed an event. That's fine. We'll keep on going forwards because we still do not have a chance to go back up. So I'll just stick to the path we're on. It'll work well enough. More blunt beak fights means it's probably just going to be more... I guess it could be red sheet, guys, but it's probably just going to be more robots, yeah. Yeah. Immediate blazing strike. Cool. Love to see it. Nice. It's also funny how we're just getting some random tremor going. We don't have anyone that can like burst tremor without egos, but we've got quite a few burst tremor egos. We have stuff like snag harpoon, legger domain. We do have binds. Uh, also a very funny option we could go for. We can do that. Sure, it's probably a good idea to defend when need be. Since, you know, when he defends, he's going to take, like, no damage because of how high it rolls. And the enemies might have been staggered already. I couldn't tell. A lot of stuff's going on, right? And they didn't. So they land the hit. They don't do any damage to Thin Glare, though, because he just fully blocks it. Good stuff. Still a couple of these guys left, but they shouldn't last too much longer. Yeah, just go for your ones, your skill one, so you don't spend SP. Oof. Okay, we win those. Nice. Hi, Gregor. Good boy. <laughs> Dogs just pestering me because of how long I've been doing this. Good boy. He's used to the relatively short runs. Just confused why I'm talking into the mic for so long this early in the morning. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. See, so press on the risk encounter. Blunt and slash. What's weak to slash in Canto 4? I nearly can't think of anything weak to slash. Oh, it's K Corp, guys. Yeah, that would do it. Yeah, it's going to be K Corp class 1 and 3. Yeah. Took me a second to remember that these guys existed. Which really isn't that shocking. I'm saying so much more about the other stuff than, like, Kanto, right? I guess it is also completely possible we get Don Grang here, huh? Since he is in the. He, we, I know he's in the Mirror Dungeon too. I haven't seen him yet, uh, of course. But he can show up. I know Nelly can show up, which kind of surprised me, since there doesn't seem to be too much, like... I don't think, like, too many of the major bosses from Kanto 6 are in here. But I know I know Nelly's in here. I know normal Hindley's in here. Only the normal one, but, uh... I don't know about some of the others. I assume Josephine shows up. I assume, like, the Ufi boss shows up, because they're fairly, like, spoiler-free, right? That's my expectation, but I don't know. Nice. And Blazing Strike moment. Just to kill that guy. For fun. I mean, he gets a bunch of Sandy for killing, so it's nice. And yeah. Just finish this guy off, Sinclair. You got this. Pretty easily. Yep, nice. Max Sandy. You lose some Sandy, but you get back to Max Sanity. Is there any more fights this floor, though? I guess that's the thing. Keep on forgetting. There's so, there's so much fights. That's how it goes, right? And Dwarfing Kit. We can actually sell this for a fair bit, so I'll take it. Uh, Mammoth Starlight is funny. I'll roll with that.
We got one more. Okay, some Pekatula, and then we'll go to the boss. Top path but has more events. That's unfortunate to know, since I haven't been able to go up at all on this floor. Yeah, this looks too... This looks fairly simple, though, so that's nice. Can you win a clash? You can try winning that clash, sure. Yeah, some neutrals and stuff, that's fine. These guys aren't going to do too much damage, so I'm fine going for some neutrals. Maybe it's maybe we're getting to the point where I shouldn't be thinking like this. But like not gonna lie, it feels like it doesn't scale nearly as hard as Mirror Dungeon 3 hard does. Like it's floor four and we're still relatively like relaxing without having any sort of stupid strategy, right? Cause we don't have any fun like fusion gifts or anything, of course. We don't have anything like that. We're still chilling. Uh, you've got some favorites. Cool. Sinclair can Blazing Strike that guy. Awesome. Love Blazing Strike. You should just... You should lie your domain, I guess. Yeah, sure. Roll with something like that, I suppose. Cool. Good enough. We're not going to clash with it, but I figure we're Legger domaining, and that's going to stagger the one Philip's going for anyways. So, uh, that's fine. And everything here is weak to Legger domain, because the Gloom guys are weak to Gluttony, and the Sloth guys are weak to Blunt. That's pretty cool. Okay, not quite a kill, but that's fine. Sinclair to Sandy isn't great, so that's not the fine, but... We can let him get a kill here, right? Surely we can kill with that. Surely. And don't call me Shirley, as my dad likes to say. Okay, weaken this guy. Okay, cool. Low HP. So Sinclair can get the kill to get some sanity. Okay, never mind. He didn't kill because of the gloom res resistance, I think, right? That's alright. The guy still dies to burn, but uh, Sinclair is in the negative sanity, so isn't he? No, he's not quite negative because of the Yusang the passive, but he's going to be like a 3 sanity going into the boss, which is not great. Because it's going to be hard to win Clash against Dong back if that's it. Or I've been assuming that, but like it could be Don Grang, you know. Might be. What the resistance is looking like. I think that's gonna be uh what we gotta look for. But we get a rest stop first. Oh nice. Enhanced gifts. Anything worth enhancing? Not really, because we've gotten like nothing for burn. We can't upgrade this, which, you know, fair enough. I'll upgrade Carmella while we're here. And uh, we don't really need to heal everyone. Actually. Let's get your let's heal you so you get your sanity to max. So you can start next fight with Hugo. That'll be nice. Gloom, Gluttony, Pierce, Slash. I don't know, I don't remember what Dong Back was weak to or Dong Grain was weak to. Could be either really. Or it could just be you, yeah. Huh. I was exp I was so expecting to get a story boss that I forgot, like, oh, there's a very decent chance I just don't get a story boss, right? That's fine. That's all right. We'll blind obsession to kill these. I'll blazing strike one of these guys though, just so we can do it right. Do this on the body. Let me just gotta clash you. Hmm. Hopeless, cool. Love being without hope. You know that's fine. Yeah, I kind of like that passive triggering. Which one was it? This one? Yeah, cool. We'll get the passive. That'll be funny. Good Wrath Resonance scheming. We Blazing Strike just demolish this thing. Get to max sanity. Not quite, because we didn't kill. That's fine. 
Ishmael will deal with the Umbrellas pretty easily. Yeah. Cool. I like not having to worry about the Umbrellas. That's why having, you know, someone who's just got an attack and they can just uh, demolish them is always so nice. They actually didn't all die there. They might burn because of our random things that inflict burned enemies. And oh yeah, we still have multiple mass attacks. I forgot about that. Because we've got fourth match flame and we've got Liger Domain. There's still one alive. Liger Domain might hit that one. Or I guess fourth match flame also might hit that one, right? We've got two, three targeted mass attacks going through. This one is only hitting the fox. That's fine. It'll still be pretty good. Inflicts burns. An ego that inflicts burns, so that's nice for us, right? And then Liger Domain did not hit the Umbrella. Okay, that Umbrella is just still living. We'll have, like, Sinclair kill it probably for a little bit of sanity. <laughs> Sinclair's Mass Tech might just kill it though, right? Oh, no, I, did, no, I thought it made the death noise. It didn't. Huh. We'll Sunset Blade that then. Sure, why not? Because it'll hit the box a little bit too, right? We're going to need to spam Egos though. Do we have anything that can win any clashes without Egos? No? Cool. Good to know. Do a little bit of this then. And sure, we'll one side with you. I think you've got a funny skill theory. Might as well, right? What is cast? Lose some sanity, that's fine. I think the use on passive prioritizes. The first selected person, or is it prioritized lowest sanity? I don't remember how Yi Sung's Bass works actually. I've just been running it because I know it's super good for Philip. And I just don't know how its targeting works, I suppose. I know how the rest of it works. Uh, of course. The Odyssey had a purpose, true. Bunk. Oh, we lost an Agarpoon. Oof. That's rude. Force for the flames, we landed head, so we do get some fragile on you. On the head, I think, was that the smart we went for? That's something. Cleaned the wrong room. I think the head's the one that we. Yeah, head's got too fragile. Okay, head's the one we're targeting. It's the one without the shield, so it's logically the one you want to target either way. Let's see how much damage we can do. Our Sandy's gonna be bad because you're annoying, you know. 20 Sandy loss on everyone. We don't actually have any decent egos for, like, Sandy healing, right? Like, that's, yeah, that's HP healing. There's Bygone Days is technically SP healing, but it's not good because we don't have enough sinking to warrant it. Nice Tails, he only got to use that once, that's fine. Detonate Magic Bolt, this is your first actual Detonate Magic Bolt thing you got. It's first count of Magic, your first stack of Magic Bolt that you've gotten, so that's unfortunate. Otherwise, you might be able to get some decent Dark Flame going. Well, either way, you've got a lot of burn, and I mean a lot. So you'll just be taking, like, a solid 200 damage each turn, right? Those Ragnar Brothers be protecting something, really. Yes, they could, seriously speaking. Oh, uh, you're gonna run out of Ego here, because there's not really anything we can do to get your Sandy up enough. That's unfortunate. That's how it goes, though. Once again, I think we just need to spam Egos, yeah unfortunate. We'll one side with you, probably. At least we'll one side with you. That'll work well enough, hopefully. Yeah. We are, our Sandy's not looking great across the board. Hmm. What are we Sanguine Desire? This? That'll be funny. We'll try it. It looks some paralysis, which will also be really nice. Of course. 
Getting some one sides off, getting more, you know, dark flame stacks inflicted. Cool. Oh, that's the one that was already had decent chances of winning the clash. It would have been nice if we had the per more paralysis for Ryoshu's ego, but that's fine. There's still like one paralysis left, right? Something like that. Yeah. So Ryoshu will make use of it somewhat. Cool. More fragile, except this time on the body. A little bit of, you know, change of pace for next turn, right? The body's not staggered, so I don't know how worthwhile it's going to be. But you've got a bunch of paralysis, so the cry seeking something does nothing. Any roll tails and sanguine desire, but that's fine. Forty-four damage, cool. Yeah, you no, know, it, it it wouldn't do a lot of damage there because we don't have the uh lead shenanigans going on, right? We need to roll heads. Unfortunate. Otis loses thirty SP. Okay, that's not nice. Uh, blind Obsession Gaming? Well, we Sunset Blade Gaming, that's for sure. Get your Sanity up at least a little bit. And we're gonna need to keep on spamming Egos. Love spamming Egos. Uh, That'll work. And we just need to Ego you a little bit. So we'll pull out the Force with Flames again. Sure, roll with that. You get some sanity, not a lot, but that's fine. You actually got a kill there, so that's more sanity. Cool. If you can get your ego back manifested, that would be nice. Yeah, very rough fight. That's where the hard's coming in. If we had the burn tier 4, we'd be, like, doing so beautifully right now, right? Okay. That's unfortunate, but at least it hit two of the umbrellas there, and only one ally. And the ally managed to take it decently well, so that's nice. And really had heads there, cool. More SP healing from this ego. That's always nice. Let me do a lot of damage in the process, yeah. All umbrellas done for, that's nice. Tails in the actual attack here, that's fine. It's only one fragile this way, but the fragile doesn't really matter at this point. You should die. Yeah, you're dead. Cool, Dark Flame finished the job. Cool. Bit of a rough fight, that's for sure. So good sometimes. Yeah, we can get Char Disc here, which doesn't help us too much. We don't want Spicy Brains because Headstrong is rough. I mean, this is rough, too. Actually, all of these are awful. God, so much HP increases on everything. I guess we take Charred Disc because it's burn? Doesn't help us that much because it's burn spread when he get kills and stuff. But, uh, I mean, we should take it because, like, these are all awful. Sure thing. Spicy Brand seems funny. We'll get that another time, though, I'm sure. Okay, cool. There we go. Uh, we'll take contract though, absolutely, please. Thank you. Oh, these are tier 7s, interesting. 8 to 10 starlight. Gain like 50 costs. Chance of gaining a rainy you gift. Or I could just gain like 71 to 100 costs. How are we doing on cost? I wish it showed us how much cost I had right now. I don't think it's great. I'll take this one though, why not? 75% chance is a good chance. Oh, we actually didn't hit the 75 chance. The Evil Defining. Sunk Gloom. God. That's how the sick this in the frog. Uh. Poised Breathing. That's a hab. Okay, cool. You know what? Let's just send it. Bon Voyage. Our mermaid's setting sail. At last, we'll speed towards our heart. Killing everyone's actually a pretty solid idea. Let's get Gregor at skill 3. He's been trying his best. No, actually. We have a roll. We'll take Burning Intellect. I guess, because we might as well. We'll heal everyone up, mainly for the SP. It'll help. Okay, two events. We don't know which path is going to be the good path. There's something new here. 
Nope, cool. Night vision goggles. Looks the same as always. You chose the correct option. Nice. Gaming. Ooh. Can we pass this? Oh, I didn't even think. We might have been able to fight this guy, huh? I just, like, went full, like, instinct mode. Oh, uh, we'll take this. This is actually, like, such a... This is going to be, like, Paquad Town. Top option would probably be safer, but you get more options from this one. So, you know what? Let's send it. Oh, no, it's not Paquad Town. That's good. They all got staggered immediately as well, so that's really nice. Yeah. Let's roll that. The immediate blazing strike is fairly bad of an idea. You're going to lose too much sanity here, I think. Because you didn't clash with it. Oh, uh, yeah, that was not great of me. You'll be at zero sanity, which is just not great. Oh, well, that's fine. It was funny, so I think my choice was optimal. Yeah, Carmilla helps out so much, though. Just staggering the egos immediately, it's nice. I don't know how dangerous they're going to be, but yeah, there goes your ego. Unfortunate. You know what? Honestly, you should just defend against both of those. You'll ego that guy, and then we see if we can land some hits on these two. Stagger them, or we kill them or something, right? Could happen. Either way, Sinclair should be able to defend decently well, right? Because he's got a stupidly good block, right? That's the heart of the matter. Seven damage, nice. <laughs> Yeah, Singler didn't take any damage from that attack. And they'd burn to death. Cool. Not too bad. I was back in Pequod Town, and I was pleasantly surprised. Oh, uh, This gives us more options. We'll fight some Pegatula. Should be fine. Don't think there's anything else that would show up here, because, you know, Canto 5, Pegatula is like the only thing right, like this, right? Yeah, four Wraths, that's funny. It's also, like, the most annoying of all the Pegatula, because they roll too high, usually. Hopeless, cool. Hopeless, cool. Struggling, that's slightly better, I suppose. Stigmatize, struggling, cool. Hopeless, cool. Alright, we're gonna need to pull out some Egos here, that's fine. We'll do something like... This probably. So you can win a clash, that's nice. Sure, send that. Good enough. Three egos isn't, you know, the worst possible outcome, right? We get the one side inner gate, el inner gate elbow strike, which will do some good damage, some good burn. You stagger the fourth queen, so you got the plus queen on next turn. Would have been really nice if we actually uh, had her do ego, but that's how it goes sometimes. I'll get wing beat sooner or later. I'm sure of it. I still haven't set the Asad announcer, by the way. Uh, my bad. Shh. I keep on being like, oh, I need to do that. I need to do that. Proceeds to not do that. Proceeds to not do that. And, you know, that's just the, the way things go, right? I'll, I'll, I'll do it sooner or later, right? Surely. I didn't get the um, Molar Office announcers. Hopefully I do. Oh, well, if I don't, right? Okay, two people doing stuff this turn. What are you going for? I see. I see. Okay. This is the plan. Do a little bit of this. Doing it like this so that we probably don't need the egos and we probably just stagger with the one side attacks we're going for before the actual clashes, but the egos are more of like a safety precaution, right? Like, one of them that worked, yeah. So Sinclair didn't need to branch in knowledge. He's going to lose more sanity thanks to this. Awesome. That's how it goes.
But this one we did need to ego, so that's fine. It's not the one I'm annoyed about having to do though, right? That one almost burns to death. Cool. You're the only one actually going for something this turn, so we'll one-side you a couple of times. Make sure you die before that point, right? Do it like that. That'll work. That didn't kill. Oh. I guess I should have seen that coming, huh? Well, Ishmael wins those anyways, so, uh... Huh. I wasn't expecting that, but good job, Ishmael. Sinclair's at max sanity. Nice. And... Gregor gets the kill, doesn't he? Yeah, nice. Cool. Alright. We'll start next fight with Ego and Sinclair. That'll be cool. We still have a couple more random fights before we get to the boss, I do believe. I don't know the average... I don't know how much nodes each, like, floor is. It seems to vary quite a bit. We still have more to go, I'm sure. More Pega 2, a little bit two options afterwards. Yeah, it looks like we're probably going to have two more nodes. We might be able to get an event after this one, though, if we're lucky. We've already had two events, though, so if we're lucky is kind of a big thing, right? Okay, some Wrath guys, some Gloom guys, too. Gloom guys are annoying because they're fast. Sunset Blade, can we win a clash with this? We can try. You know what? Let's live a little, right? We'll do like that. Cool. Looks good. Well, if, okay. We lost with like a domain. Hmm. Didn't see that coming. Maybe I should have. That's a stagger because he's weak to Pierce. Okay, one clash without an ego with pinpoint blitz though. That's nice to see. And we staggered in the process too. We did a lot of damage because of the contract. First of the flames, we did win the clash with the ego that time, so that's good. <laughs> Same. Yeah, no dice. Oh well. It was kind of like a low chance of actually happening. I just wanted to try it. Because it would have been nice if we managed to succeed, right? Get some sanity. Okay, can you clash this turn? Uh, you can potentially get a kill. That's worth a shot, I guess. Yeah, you go there. Try that. Nergate Elbow Strike will do a lot of damage. Yeah, just straight up killed. I had a feeling it might have, but I wanted to be safe, I suppose. We've been getting a lot of benefits. You're getting a lot of use of the force for the flames. It's because with this team, we get so much wrath and lust. An ego that costs two wrath and two lust is super spammable. Nice, they got a kill there. That's good sanity. Burn death. Oh, that's actually a dominating from Ishmael. Cool. I don't think she'll need to clash, yeah. That's what I thought would happen. We also probably should not have uh, Blazing Strike with Sinclair. But you know, that's fine. Oh, we actually don't get it off, because that went instead. Cool. So he's at decent sanity. Not enough to manifest ego immediately, but he's got decent sanity. That's right. Okay, uh, we'll take Horseshoe, I guess. Poise is potentially nice. Oh, this isn't the final note, is it? No, it's not. There's one more after this seems like centipede thing. Oh, uh, we can get the red sheet. Or not red sheet, red... Whatever it's called, I don't remember. Red Order, that's it. It's red, that's what I remember. Oh no. Oh, uh, what is this? Envy. It's one of the mermaids. Envy, though, is it? 
I'm trying to remember. Is it the... Okay, it's just these ones, yeah. Oh, they're staggered immediately. Nice. Love to see it. Immediate stigmatize one-sidedly is not worth it. So we'll instead do this. Cool. Wrath Resonance is always nice. Got some good damage off. It'll help. Because we can... We can go for a stigmatize here. That'll be nice. And we can go for a lot of egos. Yippee. Sure, roll with that. It'll work. I'm sure. This is the last fight, so... We should be relatively fine. Hopefully we can get Sinclair to a point where he's going to start next fight with 45 Sandy. If nothing else, we can also spend some cost heal up. Uh... Like, before the actual boss. Which is always a decent option. We still really don't have a lot of great healing sources. We've got the signpost, and that's... The milepost, and that's all that we've got, right? We don't have lithograph or anything like that, which definitely would help. But we're, we're chilling, right? Okay, speaking of chilling... That's some damage on Otis, but she's chilling. Nice. Okay, cool. This will be more good damage. A little bit of tremor bursting, too, which is nice, because we do have decent tremor application. All things considered. Oh, you got staggered. I didn't even notice. I probably should have noticed, huh? Might have been a good idea. Oh, you're being hit. Okay, you're going to take some damage. That's fine. We'll do that. The fight shouldn't last too much longer, so binds should be relatively safe, and if they're weak to pride, uh, don't mind if I do, right? Won't do that, everyone. We didn't have high enough resonance to get the additional attack weight on this, but that's fine. It's still gonna do a lot, right? We do also get the Tremor Fracture, which might work, because we do have some random decent Tremor Infliction. I mean, it looks like all of them are, don't have quite enough. Actually, this one's got enough for it to trigger. Yeah, there's a stagger plus from the tremor. That's cool. Same. Let me get the inner gate elbow strike off. Does some stuff, not too much, of course. And this is the guy who gets the one side, so that's unfortunate. Sinclair takes some damage too. That's fine. We're chilling. Oh, that is a tie. Oh, that is a tie. Okay, we won that. We won that. That's good. It wasn't looking the best because we had only like what 35 sanity on Gregor, and like that guy had like negative 20 sanity. So we needed, we needed to keep on getting heads, and they need to get keep on getting tails. But things went well, so that's good. Okay, of course here that's happening to you. That's fine. You're just going to need to block. Yeah, you're blocking the damage pretty well, so I'm not too concerned. You got staggered. You're fairly low, but that's alright. This guy dies this turn. Sinclair's got decent sanity. We'll definitely heal. We'll probably just give him, like, a heal in the shop, right? Because he's low HP as well, so it might be nice to just spend, you know, 100 costs solely for Sinclair. I think so, at least. Uh, this is a tier 3, so we'll take it. What do you want? Random tier 3? Sure, why not? Lightning Rod, cool. Shouldn't have taken that, that's fine. Well, we're at the finale now. We don't have a lot of cost... Like the center, center heals a bunch. Yep, we're healing you. I'll give. I'll try a reroll. I'll try another reroll. You know what? I'll sell something and then I'll try another reroll. Okay, you know that's how it goes. I don't want to sell everything because you get more starly based on how many ugifts you have. So the more ugifts, the better for that. And we can't do anything here. Fine. Oh no, that's that's the quad trio, isn't it? That's I think that's the quad trio. Okay. Oh boy. 
This is gonna be something, isn't it? Uh... <laughs> we need so many egos. Oh, that's fine. Inner gate elbow strike. I kind of want to save that. No, we'll, try, we'll probably draw another run. All right. God, we need so much ego spam. Uh, can you win any clashes by any chance? No, cool. You just got a branch of knowledge then, right? That's all you can do here. Gotta go, to go for a favor, and awesome. Dun, dun, da, 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 dun, 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 da, da, dun, 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 da, da, dun, da, 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 dun, 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 da, 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 da,
Spending the burn helped a little bit, at least, I guess. Energate elbow strike time. You know, 73 damage is pretty good, honestly, yeah. We broke the shield. Oh, that's good. That's good, actually. We did it, huh? But now, we do lose Ishmael, of course. Um, Not really an easy way to get around that, which is really unfortunate. We're gonna, everyone's going to lose even more sanity from that. So that's unfortunate. We don't have anyone that can tank it, though. That's the issue. Yep, down she goes. Cool. Cool. Dun 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 You know what, just like fourth match flame that sure. That's something. Can you clash anyone? No, awesome. Roll that. Ryoshu's getting one-sided several times uh, by Starbucks, so Ryoshu's gonna die here, I think. Unless we do enough damage to Starbucks to stagger him or something. And they're taking a lot of damage. And this, of course, just kills you if you get heads, yeah. Which he did. Cool. This is hitting Ryodeon. Yeah, we staggered Rodion with that. Cool. Good to see. Oh, we staggered uh, Starbuck, though. That's good. Oh, he... Why did Contract trigger that? Why wouldn't it have triggered already? I don't know. That's how it goes, I guess. Well, you should burn to death, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, it's all down to you, Kragger. I'm going for this because we really need some sanity on you. Okay, he's dead. Um, well, at least we killed Starbuck. That's not bad. <laughs> Off he runs. Uh... You know, we did our best. Yeah, we've got the... Well, we, we, we tried. Like, that was fairly good, all things considered, right? Selected floor themes. How much starlight do we get? 181. That's still a lot of starlight, right? We get 1.5 times starlight because of the hard. That's nice. And we get a decent bit of battle pass XP. Yeah. Sure. I'll claim as much bonus as I can. I know, like, whatever. Like, it's technically more efficient if you do three, like, hards, right? Something like that. I think they did something janky like that. Either way, we get a bunch of levels here. Much bunch more boxes. That's always nice. Ooh, pass level 307. That's something. Yeah, uh? Very funny final boss. I, I was kind of signing up for my Dune when I chose that as, you know, my final pack. I understand that. It's not something you should ever do if you're trying to actually win, right? We got 500 loons from that. Not enough for another 10 pull. I'll keep on doing daily pulls and stuff as much as I can to see if I can get a wing beat. And if by the end of these two weeks I don't have wing beat, then I'll, you know, get some paid lunacy, right? But yeah, Philip is funny. It's nice that they're buffing him. I don't think he necessarily needs it, but he kind of does need it, right? If they want him to be stupidly busted, which I think is their goal, right? But anyways, uh, yeah, that's all for Mirror Dungeon 4. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!